Cole Cats. This is Mina, and welcome back to another episode of Yeast 8. We are now going to see what we do next in this game. Um, let's see. We still have this boat building thing. I don't think I have the Lakata resin yet, right? I don't think I have enough. Oh, I do have enough! Let's give it to Dogi. Thank you, now I can get to work! You know more about boating than just getting tossed overboard, right? <laughs> this is great timing. Wanna help me build this? Alright, let's get started. First, we gotta process the lumber. And I'll pick a log that'll be good for making a boat out of. Which log will you pick? Oh no. Um, the log with many knots or the log with few knots? Like, I'm I'm hesitant to pick one or the other because I I know what a knot is, but I don't know whether or not it... <laughs> whether or not... Get it? Not... Oh man, I'm terrible. I'm gonna go with... Few knots. Nice, I'd hate for the boat to sink because of the woods full of knots. I didn't know that was a problem. Now we gotta cut the wood into beams. I figure we'll need around 12 or 13. It's gonna be a tough job, but I know the two of us can get it done. <laughs> Looking good so far. We're about ready to start assembling the hull. Which part will you assemble first? The frame, I would think. Is it? What? I don't know what the, uh, what a keel is. Deck is definitely not right. You don't build the deck first, right? Um, frame seems right because, like, you, you build the frame of the boat first, maybe? But what is the keel? Is the keel, like, the bottom area of the boat? Because if that's, that's it, then that's right. Oh, no. I'm gonna go with keel. Okay, I agree. The keel's the bottom of the boat, so starting with that makes the most sense. Okay, I'm always hoping that it was that. Okay, so the keel... Okay, the frame... Alright, so the frame is just like the entirety of the ship, I guess, in this case. What do I know? I don't build boats. This next step is the most important. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh my gosh, this is actually a really nice looking little... Uh tiny boat here. Phew. That took a while, but now we have ourselves a sturdy hull. Wait a minute. It feels like something's missing. What is missing? A boat wheel, some oars, a figurehead. No, it probably needs oars. It doesn't need a boat wheel. We don't even have the, the thing that we need the wheel for. Like the, what is it? Like the rudder or something? I don't know what the name of the thing is. It's definitely oars. That's right. We need oars to control the boat. Alright, let's grab some wood and start carving. And at long last, Castaway's Village small boat was finally complete. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks to your help, we managed to get this thing built with no issues. Now we can gather more materials. Yeah, this will definitely help us lug some heavier materials. And on top of that, Captain Barbaros is planning to use this to get a better feel for the tide. This is definitely going to help us escape the island. Thanks for the help, Adol. This is for you. Leather gloves obtained. We still got a long road ahead, so let's face it together. I wonder what happens... Like... 
Did I pick all the right answers? <laughs> we did it. Or is like I wonder what happens if you pick the other ones. Like is the ship terrible then or It's slightly less Oh, bandit gloves. Put that on. Anyways, as I was saying, it's slightly less defense, but it also gives you a hundred more HP. Laxia could really use that. Give her that. Skill XP gain. Why not? <laughs> Give them all at least some, something equipped. Um... I guess now we can, uh, we can explore more of the island. Oh, I, I imagine I can equip more abilities, can I? <laughs> yeah. Is that bird still up here? Did I catch any fish for this bird? I did! Here you go, big fish. More bait. Okay. Whew, it's complete. I need more iron ore for that. All that's, right, that's fine. So, I guess we'll just teleport somewhere and just see what what else I can unlock, maybe. I don't- okay, we haven't been this way. What is that thing? It's like woolly cow looking things. Huh? Hey, look! I haven't forgotten that face. It's that Hummel person who so rudely ignored me. He's looking right at us. <laughs> Think he's had a change of heart about coming with us? Somehow I doubt it. Weapon. Uh, huh? Oh no. He just shot past us, probably. Yeah. <laughs> the hell was that? Did he do that? Is that a firearm? It's a new type of weapon. Essentially a handheld cannon. Oh, they don't know what a gun is. I believe it uses gunpowder to fire lead projectiles. What a scary weapon. Thank you. <laughs> no thanks necessary. Regardless, you have my gratitude. But you could have warned us before you fired. Perhaps. And you'd be down one arm before I'd taken a single shot. Huh? It's quite rude to stare, you know. <laughs> I'm coming with you. Oh? Excuse me? 
<laughs> Hummel joined the party. Welcome to the party, Hummel. What exactly do you think you're doing? You can't simply barge your way into our party without telling us your motives. We're headed the same direction. There. Motive established. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> what a character. <laughs> Mr. Kristen, don't you have anything to say about this? Welcome to the party? Welcome aboard! You'll barely even notice me. <laughs> you look like you can hold your own in a fight, kid. Glad to have you. My word. Why do I keep encountering thick-headed fools? What type of damage does he do? Uh, okay, select party from the camp menu. Okay, plus blah blah blah. Change party formation. Mm, same type of damage. The damage dealt increases by 1.1. If the three party has three different damage types, the rare item drop increases. Ooh. What type of um? Oh, he's, he does the same damage as Laxia, but we're behind in levels. He's level 20. Am I under level? Wait a minute. He definitely has to count as another person, doesn't he? Where's that area that had... I have 10 people now. Was there a spot that required 10? <gasps> right there. Oh, but I haven't encountered an- Okay, when I find another teleport point, I'll go back there and unlock that. Allow me. Yeah! My turn now! Oh, something's there. Come back, doggies. No, Phoenix, you can't climb on my lap. Whoa, it's these things. We can't do anything about them. Okay, enough. So I guess we're gonna get something that gets rid of those things. I don't know what they are, but they are impossible to destroy. Maybe I am really weak. Like, maybe level 20, you kind of cut through these guys a little easier. We're surely coming up on a teleport point. <clears throat> Look! A cave! Oh wait, I don't know how to do Hummel's voice. Um, I guess I can try and do a soft guy voice? I don't know if it'll come out. <clears throat> a cave. It could lead to the other side of the valley. It looks like a long way to go. This area seems safe. Why don't we camp here for the night? Thanks, let's set one up. I, I haven't done anything you need to thank me for. I'm just doing what needs to be done so we can get off this island. Yeah, <laughs> let's get started then. You said you were a transporter or something. What do you transport anyway? Mail and packages and stuff? Anything. Contraband. Dead bodies. 
It's all the same to me. Good. Dead bodies? Transporters are heavily involved in the criminal underworld. Or so they say. Many people utilize their services to transport all manner of illicit material. So, what's a transporter like you doing here, anyway? Wouldn't be professional to answer that. Rule number one, never breach a contract. Rule number two, never ask questions. Rule number three, never open the package. Every transporter lives and dies by these three unbreakable rules. I actually didn't click past his dialogue there. The, the dialogue was auto moving, but it cut himself off. Like he didn't finish the words questions, just jumped. <laughs> Relax. I have no intention of harming you. Oh, uh, good. I feel much safer now. Are you absolutely certain it's safe for us to travel with him? It doesn't seem so bad. Yeah. I suppose. He's surprisingly serious and seems very set in his ways, too. I suppose this world really is filled with all different kinds of people. I will transport. Okay. Oh, we're back here. A forest fire? Yes, the people at the temple are no doubt panicking by now. Look! Olga, black smoke is rising from the direction of the temple. No. Even though the temple is surrounded by water, the blaze that strong will. Donna, Sarai, we need to go back. No, going back won't change a thing. Then why? If you knew a fire was going to happen, why did you lead us all this way? Scarlet Visions are harbingers of immediate future events that cannot be prevented. I know that all too well. All too well? Olga, she's leading us to... The Reservoir? For millennia, this reservoir has been the main source of water for the kingdom and the temple. From here, one can adjust the floodgate near the maiden's sanctuary to control the downstream flow. What's a floodgate doing here? Olga, Sarai, listen to me. I need your essence to save the temple. Wait, Donna, are you? What's the matter? I've been having strange dreams lately. Like, is any of this real or not? Strange dreams. Are you getting enough sleep? I make it a rule to get no less than seven hours of sleep every night. It's the bare minimum a transporter needs to function at peak performance. All right, let's get going. I like how nobody's wanting to address this weird dream thing I'm having. It's okay. You better all thank me. Thank you, Paro. Um, yeah. Just grabbing that, but I really want to teleport back here and unlock this. Is this the only one I can unlock? Ten people, fourteen people, eleven people. So I need to find one more person I can unlock that other one. Okay, let's go back here though. Because I really Leave it to me. I really want to uh Let's go get this one unlocked. A lively school. 
Let's make a help request. After sending Little Para, everyone in Castaway Village arrives to help. All right, let's do this. Yes, oh. yes. The thanks, giant everyone. boulder was removed thanks to everyone's help. Yes. 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 Spirit elixir obtained. <laughs> I bet I can catch a lot. All right. <gasps> I'm going to clear out the enemies here and then we're going to basically do some fishing and I think that's where we'll end this episode and then I was curious like is this just like a better fishing spot or does it let you look anywhere deeper? Nope. Let me break that open. Oh, there is more fish. Alright. I hope I catch a big one. Alright. <laughs> She's a beaut! A new fish. Nice. Alright. Yeah. 